Hi everyone and welcome to VenezuelaAnalysis.com Venezuela Weekly News Review. I'm Ryan Maltautram, a staff writer here at VenezuelaAnalysis.com. This week Venezuela held three days of mourning in the wake of the passing of Cuban revolutionary leader Fidel Castro. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro himself travelled to Cuba where he joined millions of mourners in Havana during Fidel's state funeral. Cuba is Venezuela's closest regional ally and Fidel was deeply respected by both Maduro and also his predecessor Hugo Chavez. Also in international news, Venezuela succeeded this week in securing a deal to slash OPEC production quotas. Under the deal, OPEC nations agreed to cut output by 1.2 million barrels a day as of January 1st, 2017. This is the first coordinated oil output reduction to be agreed by the 14-member organization since 2008. Non-member state Russia will also participate in the reduction, reducing its output by around 300,000 barrels a day. The deal has been hailed as a major victory by the Venezuelan government, which has been seeking to reduce global oil output for well over a year as part of efforts to try to bolster the currently extremely weak price of crude. Finally, 11 military officials in Venezuela have been arrested under allegations of involvement in a suspected massacre of 12 people. The massacre allegedly occurred back in October when the suspected victims disappeared after being detained by the military. The bodies were later found in a mountainous region of Miranda State. The initial detentions were made by soldiers operating under the controversial, heavily militarized anti-crime campaign, the Operation of Liberation of the People, or OLP. While the government says the OLP has dramatically reduced crime rates where it has been implemented, critics claim the crackdown has been heavy-handed and led to dozens of cases of excessive force. Anyway, as usual, be sure to check out VenezuelaAnalysis.com where there's more details on all of these top stories and plenty more. See you next time.